If you're one of the many photographers uploading client images to online galleries, then you might feel some frustration when it comes to how long it can take to get some of those orders in. In this video, I'm going to outline how to get your clients to order quickly from their online galleries. You'll know by now that I am a big lover of in-person sales. You know if you want to give your clients a more high-end experience and sell more products. But that's not going to be right for everyone and there are still way more photographers doing online sales than IPS. Before I moved to IPS, I'd been using online galleries for two years to sell digital files and prints to my clients. In the first year, one of the things that used to drive me crazy was when I had to wait until the very last minute for my clients to place their order. Or even worse than that was when I had to chase them up to place that order. I remember thinking, don't they know that I need this money? It's so frustrating having to chase someone up to make a decision so that you can be paid for the work that you have already done. But as always, let's put ourselves in our client's shoes. Do you sometimes put stuff like this off? Because I know I do, especially if it involves decision making. You know, if someone sends me a simple bill, I'll strike while the iron's hot and I'll pay it. But if someone sends me a whole load of decisions to make, then I'm kind of going to leave that task until I have the time to give it the attention that it needs and deserves. And if I'm super busy, that might not happen for a week or two. Or worse, I might forget. Now, as the photographer, you're sitting at home thinking, I haven't heard from Sally since she got her online gallery login details. And you know, my bank account is looking pretty terrifying. So I wish Sally would hurry up and order already so I can pay my share of the mortgage. But Sally's at home thinking, God, I really must find a quiet hour with John to look through those gorgeous images properly and decide what we're going to order. Sally's got a head full of stuff that she needs to do, places she needs to be, and just like us, she's trying to prioritize this hectic life of hers. Can you really blame her if she puts off this task that's going to require headspace and time? And can you blame her if she might forget? You know, when it comes to situations like this, there are two types of photographers. Photographers who put the blame onto rude, inconsiderate Sally, and then the photographers who take full responsibility and they just problem solve how they can make this process easier and quicker for clients like Sally. Now, I am hoping that you are the second photographer. I doubt that you would be even watching this video if you were the first. You are the photographer who wants to help Sally and in turn, you're going to help yourself too. So here's what to do if you want quick orders from your online proofing galleries. This is how I handled online sales in the second year of my business. Only give clients a 24 hour window to place their order, but let them choose the 24 hour window. Now, you might be thinking, 24 hours? You know, I give my clients two weeks and they still can't get an order into me on time. So how can I reduce it to 24 hours? But that's because the more time you give someone, the more time they'll take. Not only that, the more chance there is that they're going to forget or it gets pushed down the priority list. Now, if my accountant calls me and says that she wants my accounts signed and back to her within two weeks, then I will probably wait two weeks. If she tells me that she needs them within 24 hours, I'll get them to her within 24 hours. It doesn't take me two weeks to sign and post my accounts. It takes 10 minutes, but I'll put it off. And it doesn't take your client two weeks to view their images and place an order. It takes them an hour or so at the most, but they'll put it off. Whether you give them 24 hours or two weeks, the actual task itself takes the same amount of time. You're just pushing them to do it sooner rather than later. So how might this play out with a client? First of all, cull, edit and upload the final images to a gallery as quickly as you can. 
within the week or quicker. Because the longer Sally has to wait to see her images, the less excited she is about seeing them. You know, this chaotic life has just taken over. Once they're ready, give Sally a call or send her a text. Say something like this. Hey Sally, I have great news. Your images are all fully finished and they're ready for you to view. You are going to love them. I know you're going to be desperate to see them, but remember the online gallery only goes live for 24 hours. So all you need to do is tell me when you're going to have some time and some space to look through them with John and place your order. I'll publish your gallery to coincide with that and I'll send you over the login details. Now this is not going to be a surprise to Sally. You're going to have explained this to her very, very clearly during the pre-shoot consultation and you will have reminded her of this at the shoot. It will also be in the information you sent out to her and in the contract that she signed. You've told Sally that you work this way because it saves your clients agonizing over decisions and they get their products in a timely fashion. But also explain that it helps you too because you're no longer having to chase people up and annoy them. If you've made all this abundantly clear from the very beginning, then Sally is perfectly happy. Not only is she happy, you've also saved her from having yet another thing hanging over her head that she's putting off. You're making her take action. People like Sally appreciate that. Believe me, because I am Sally. I love nothing more than someone making it easier for me to make a quick decision so I can take action and just move on with my life. The less things I have on my to-do list, the better. Now, if Sally complains about this process, it's simply because you have not communicated it well. That is the only issue. Now, Sally is desperate to see these images. So she is now actively looking at her diary and texting John to see if they could spend an hour together this evening to view the images and decide on their order. And if not this evening, then at least over the next couple of days. She'll send you a message telling you how excited she is about seeing them and they're going to make time to do this thing tonight. So can you just go ahead and send over the details? When you send over the login details to Sally, you again remind her that the gallery is only live for 24 hours. Personally, I'd want to help them with their decision via Skype or phone, but that is not essential. But you do want to let her know that you're going to be there for her if she needs any help or has any questions. Now, if that order does not come in that night, then I would be very surprised. But all you need is a quick reminder email or a text telling them that there's just a few hours left to order. You can automate all of this. Will some clients still mess you around? Yes, maybe but you can guarantee it will not happen much if your communication is as clear as day. If you want to add an extra level to this, you could even craft your pricing to allow clients who order within that 24-hour window to make a saving of some kind. You can incorporate all of this into your cost of doing business so that it actually does not affect your profits. When I used this strategy, I did not find that I needed that discount. My clients just chose their 24-hour window and they placed their order. I also found that sales went up because they were actually making time to choose rather than just rushing in an order at the very last minute. They respected the process and I reaped the rewards. If sales is something you struggle with and you're ready to really step up a gear, then definitely check out our Togs in Business membership. We are a community of photographers committed to raising the bar and taking action towards becoming profitable business owners. If that sounds like you too, then apply to join us. I love getting to know our members and seeing the progress that they're making. And I would love to connect with you inside there too. There's a link in the description. So is this an online sales strategy you think that you could implement? Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you're going to give it a try.